everyone, this is Eli, and today I'm going to be making a golf ball model. So this is for a birthday. It's almost gonna be like a trophy, and what I'm gonna have is I'm gonna have this base. I'm gonna have another little block on top so it makes it look taller. A golf ball, and then a golf tee, and a golf club. So it's just gonna be a cool present. So I just have this scrap wood. This is just a scrap piece of white oak. This is just some hard maple, and this is mahogany, some walnut, and some more mahogany. So what I'm thinking is I'm just gonna cut this piece of oak down. This will be the base because it's nice and heavy and will keep down. And then this is the maple, and this will just sit on top as a riser. So let's go cut these two pieces and then put them together and we can work on the other parts. are both sanded and the edges are curved over they will be sitting like this as you can see um, but I'm not gonna glue them just yet because I do want to do some final sanding at the very end and I do want to mount the golf ball and golf club on here before I glue it on so now we need to move on to what I just said which is making the golf ball and golf club so what I'd like to do is make it out of a even darker color wood which would be mahogany or walnut so, I haven't really thought this out, but I think I'm gonna make the arm of the golf club or the pole out of this walnut and then the, like the head of the golf ball. I don't really know much about golf, but the head of it, uh, mahogany and the ball and tee. So, now I'm just gonna kinda trace out the shape of one onto the walnut and then the shape of the head onto the mahogany and we can cut it out. what I'm gonna use. I'm just gonna do an experimenting on the sanding and just whichever one turns out the best I'll use. So now let's get to the sanding. golf ball and tee and the golf club kind of rough out I'm just gonna use some sandpaper and I'm just gonna start uh, sanding them and just making them to their final shape golf tee are done I need to finish the little ball so what I want to do is I just want to take some of this white paint spray it in the cap and then just dip the little white ball in it and then let it dry so that it'll look like a golf ball <laughs> So 
so the little golf ball is drying over there and the golf club is done so i want to move on to the block that i'm mounting everything on so this is where the little golf club is going to be then the ball then there i want to make a hole right here so it looks like there's a hole that the ball could go in so i'm just going to use this quarter inch forcer bit and just i'm going to find the center of the uh, middle and do it about a half an inch in from the corner and i'm just going to drill a really shallow hole that's probably about a quarter of an inch deep just right here and i'll use a drill press so let's measure that and drill the hole okay so i just have some of this uh ca glue i'm just gonna put a drop on the bottom of the golf club and then i'll put it on the base this 3 30 second inch drilled it and i'm just gonna drill a hole right in front of the golf club just um so that the little key can just sit in the hole and i'll put some ca glue so it'll stay in place so now i'll just put this in the drill and drill a really shallow hole is really close to being finished all i really need to do now is just to glue the um base onto the bigger base i'm just going to center it the best i can and then just put a couple lines of ca glue under there and it should stick really good so now i'm just going to put some ca glue under here and just stick it onto there So now that the base is glued on, I want to just put a little bit more of decorations on this thing. So right on the front, I'm going to put a 1 and a 3 for 13 because the birthday party is for someone that's turning 13 years old. So I'm just going to write 13 with pencil and then wood burn it in. And then we can put my E on the bottom and put a coat of spray lacquer. Mm -hmm. 